Hola! Hey guys, welcome to the Psychic Sanctuary. I am Miss Serenity Oasis. You can call me Miss Serenity, your favorite spiritual advisor. I am a psychic medium. I am a tarot card reader. I also do pendulum readings. And of course, I do a variety of different spell work and rituals to help you manifest whatever it is that you are seeking to manifest, whether it is love, whether it is fixing your current relationship, whether you're looking for a new job, whether you are looking for success with a new business. Listen, I am here for it. So if you are interested in any of that, make sure that you inbox me or DM me on Facebook or on Instagram so that we can get started. Just please be advised that if you are going to request any spell work from me, that you understand that a full tarot card reading done by me is required first and foremost, okay? So today, guys, what we're going to be discussing, we're going to be discussing when a healthy relationship feels unusual, because I see this happen to people from time to time, okay? <laughs> now, this may not happen often because it just seems like nowadays, everyone out here is so freaking toxic. There's so many toxic human beings out here. It's like, we are living in a whole different time frame in a whole different society, okay? These humans that are on this planet in 2022, are a whole different breed of toxic and unfortunately we live in a society in a society where being toxic is actually celebrated and you know people treat it like it's cute it's something that i personally am not going to understand but i don't belong here so I, of course i'm not going to understand however see that is why i was put here i'm here to help all of you toxic individuals realize exactly what's going on with you and what's going on inside of you so that you can change these ways and you could better yourself and you can actually flourish while you are here so you can let go of the pettiness the foolishness you know the toxic behavior so that you don't feel like this is normal anymore toxic behavior seems to be the new norm Toxic is so much the new norm that a healthy relationship will begin to feel unusual. I hate that with the passion. Okay, so there are so many people out here that have been through so much in their life that have been through so many negative situations from multiple people in multiple energies that have been around them romantically that they really expect that from everyone to the point where even if they get something good they may not even realize that it's really good because they're so used to be people from the past being toxic and a lot of times that's because you haven't let go of the past and I actually have a video that I made on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. See, this is why you have to subscribe to my channel, honey, because I am one by one touching a whole lot of topics that, you know, a lot of you need to see. Letting go of the past, because a lot of times when you don't let go of the past and you hold on to the feelings of what someone else has done to you, you're going to expect that from everyone. So when you do get in a relationship with the person who has been healed themselves, it doesn't feel unusual. There are so many people who have been in relationships where they're not used to having a supportive significant other. So when they do meet another person, a significant other that's trying to have their back, that's trying to be there for them, that is trying to offer their assistance, they're not used to that type of support because they're only used to people being so selfish and all for themselves so then it feels like when you do find that person it's like what do they want what do they want in return they can't really be like this because you're going to always expect those same toxic patterns that you have gone through previously you're going to always expect them to come from other people as well but listen i'm here to tell you that 
that is not always the case and that is not always the situation. First and foremost, if you want to manifest a significant other that is not toxic as hell, like most of these individuals running around here, parading it around, waving it like a flag, if you want to actually manifest somebody and attract someone, you're going to have to start by changing your mindset. Because if you feel like everyone is always going to be as toxic as your ex and have all of those negative character traits as your ex and as the people you have dealt with, you're going to hold yourself back. And that's what you're going to begin to attract. So you have to release things and situations that you have gone through with other people in the past because everyone you meet is not going to be toxic and you know what it almost feel rare nowadays to find people that are actually in healthy relationships it almost feels very 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 rare first and foremost in order for you to be in a healthy relationship the two of you are going to have to be on the same page that's first and foremost so if one of you are still holding on to things that have happened to you in the past first place we're all supposed to be learning from our mistakes that's first and foremost you're never going to forget the things that you have gone through however you use those situations that you have gone through that may not have been the best as examples of things to avoid moving forward you see those red flags from the start and you release this person and you move forward Okay, because the only way you're going to be happy and healthy is if the two of you are on the same page. Okay, because if not, if you feel like everybody is going to be toxic, that means that if your, your ex was selfish as hell and stingy as hell, then you're going to be automatically assuming that the next person is going to be the same exact way. And then you hold that against everybody you know and then you go on trusting that there are not genuine people in this world when let me tell you something there are actually genuine people still left in this world you may have to be on a different frequency in order to attract them into your life no one understand that okay there are definitely genuine people still left in this world you may have to be on a different frequency in order to attract them so that means that if you feel like everybody around you is still going to be toxic, then that means that you must have some toxic ways yourself. And if everybody that you attract and manifest into your life is toxic as hell and cannot be trusted, that means there may be parts about you that you need to heal yourself. And the more that you keep on thinking that everyone is out to get you, the more you keep put, being put in certain situations that prove that to be true. I'm not telling you that you have to go around and, you know, believe that everybody is as genuine as they say they are. No, but you should go around and actually be shown by these people that what they say is genuine and how they feel is genuine. They should be able to show you these things. When you meet someone who is showing you these things, that is when you should be a little bit more at ease okay because it's not about what people say and that may have been our problems before in the past dealing with previous relationships you know we've gone based off of what people say that they're gonna do and in reality they do the complete opposite and I completely 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 get it I completely get it you know we've all gone through stuff and when you have been through so many toxic toxic relationships and in so many toxic environments with people who did not truly care about you and people who were always out for self and people who were always liars, manipulators, mentally abusive. You know, there's so many different situations that we can name. You know, if you're used to being lied to over and over, you, the truth just feels like something you just can't trust. You know, a lot of times you're so used to toxic behavior that when somebody is actually treating you good, it feels unbelievable. It feels hard to believe. It feels like, nah, there gotta be something behind this. Can't be. It feels that way. It feels like you can't trust it, to tell you the truth. It feels like you cannot trust it. 
and also you know when you are so used to um having someone that's like oh i want to know the truth i want to know the truth i want to know the truth and then when you give them the truth and they explode on you and they act like you know a psychopath because that's another thing there's so many people out here that'll tell you especially women i gotta throw that out there especially us women oh i want to know the truth tell me the truth tell me the truth and the minute you tell them the truth when they don't like the truth they are gonna explode not saying that somebody telling you the truth you're gonna like because you may not like the truth but however it is the truth and you have you should be able to control yourself because they you they gave you exactly what you're asking for and you know this is how you act but there's a lot of people who can't accept the truth so you, people get used to fucking lying people get used to fucking lying because they feel like the minute they tell you the truth you are going to explode you're going to act like a fool because you're going to be very toxic once the truth does so listen there are people out here who can accept the truth because i am one of them give us the option give us the option everybody is not toxic you know you tell me the truth no matter how good or how bad it is and we will deal with it it is what it is we'll deal with it we'll deal with it together one way or another i'm not telling you i'm gonna like it but however i'm i'm not toxic where i'm gonna explode and i'll make you feel uncomfortable not to be able to come to me and to tell me whatever it is the situation maybe okay i am telling you because the thing about it is that if you're also used to being in relationships where you're used to shutting down or you're used to the person shutting down, that's toxic behavior too. So you may get with someone who is completely healed and who has done the work in their lives to release and to let go and they have learned how to communicate but you're so used to being with people who lack communication and you're so used to not being able to have to communicate because you're so used to just shutting down and then that's okay with the other person and in reality that's very unfucking healthy that's very unhealthy in reality you may be used to that so now you may meet someone where they're very expressive you know they believe in communication they like to express how they feel they want to know how you feel because they actually really do care and you're used to shutting down you see the two of you will be on the same like on different pages i'm sorry the two of you will be on two different pages and as long as you're on two different pages you will not be able to be in a healthy relationship at all whatsoever. You won't be. You will not be able to be in a healthy relationship because you're going to be holding on to all the toxic behaviors from the past because you're expecting this person to be okay with that. Because you lack communication, you're expecting this new person to be okay with that. A lot of times we're our own worst enemies and we're holding ourselves back, okay? Every time we get with somebody, because of the fact that we're supposed to be learning from each and every relationship that we have been in, every time that we get with someone, we have to give them the benefit of the doubt. That's what I do. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Now listen, this is just my advice. You can do whatever you want. I give people the benefit of the doubt because I also give them the opportunity to show me. That's it. I'm not going to doubt you. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you know, well, um, this person, he told me that he was going to send me the money um, to get my nails done on Friday when he gets paid. But, you know, my last ex, he lied so much and he was so toxic with the lying that I don't believe this one. No, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'll give you the opportunity to prove yourself until you show me otherwise once you show me otherwise then i know who i'm dealing with but there are definitely some genuine people who are still left out here you know it may seem like it's hard to find but i promise you if you put yourself on that right frequency and that right vibration that's one thing i am so grateful for i am grateful that i have always attracted really good people like one thing i can say when it comes to friends 
I have always been blessed in the friends department. You know, so I know that there's genuine people that are out here. Not only that, I have a lot of clients that are actually very, very, very good people. It's just that you guys have to find the right, the right ones. You have to find the right ones. You can't go around expecting everybody to be the same based off of your past experience. You have to use your past experience as a lesson learned. You have to use it like, you know what? Well, I learned that lesson. I will no longer be doing X, Y, and Z. I will no longer go down this path. I will no, no longer fall for this type of person. Once you see somebody is a person of their word, you can relax a little bit. You can let your hair down a little bit. You can definitely, 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 definitely chill a little bit. You know, you have to give people the opportunity to show themselves and to prove themselves that they are who they say they are. That's what you have to do, because I'm telling you, if not, you're going to go around thinking that everyone is out to hurt you. You get in a relationship with a good person like they genuinely care about you. They genuinely want to see you succeed. They genuinely want to have your back. And because you go into it with your guard up, expecting everybody to be toxic to the point where you don't even recognize a good thing when you see it, you're going to lose it. You're going to lose it. And when you lose it, guess what you're going to do? You're going to come running right over here to Miss Serenity Oasis to the Psychic Sanctuary trying to do some spell work and get it back. And listen, why go through all of that? Give people the benefit of the doubt. Let them weed themselves out. They will watch what people show you, not what they tell you. Don't worry about what they tell you because a lot of time that is our problems we are focused on what somebody told us what somebody said oh but they said they were going to x y and z forget about what they said they were going to do what did they show you they were going to do you got to let go of the past let go of the past and allow people to show you who they truly are you know you don't want to have your guard up 24 7 you don't want to have to have your guard up 24 7 and to feel vulnerable you know, and to not be able to feel vulnerable, actually. You don't want to not be able to feel comfortable with someone. You don't want to be able to not be vulnerable with the right person. Let me not just say with someone, but with the right person. With the right person, because I'm telling you, if you are open to receive love and you just let go of the baggage from the past and you just look at everything as a lesson learned so that you can avoid certain situations. And when you work on yourself so that you're not drawing in and attracting the negative energy and drawn in and attracting the toxic behavior and when you are not exhibiting toxic behavior yourself i promise you you will definitely attract someone and it'll be so beautiful and you'll be so happy and so healthy you just have to trust the process and you have to change yourself also because not only should you not believe like that not everyone is toxic but you yourself have to let go of toxic ways yourself because honestly, just going around thinking that everybody is out to hurt you, that's toxic within itself too. It is. Going tick for tack, toxic. So there's a lot of things about yourself that you may need to change. And that's probably why you're attracting people who you can't trust. And you know what? And if that is your situation and you want to get down to the root of the issue and you want to see what's going on within yourself as to why you cannot trust people or why is it you continue to meet people that continue to hurt you and treat you any type of way then guess what you need to do you need to come and book a full tarot card session with me come right on over honey book a full tarot card session with me and we can see exactly what is going on. You can inbox me on Facebook or you can DM me on Instagram at MissSerenityOasis.com. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video. And do not forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, make sure that you comment down below and tag someone down below who feels like every one around them is toxic. 
because I'm telling you, you'll get into a really good relationship and don't even realize that it's such a good thing until it is gone. Until it's gone because you took it for granted. Anywho, guys, I have to go. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Love you guys.